Hey guys, it's Kitty Bit Games, and we are here today to open up the Collector's Edition. Well, it's the Collector's Edition Nomad Indie 1 for uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. They did their Collector's Edition a little bit weird. They kind of sold it on the website a la carte, like you could get a you could get a diecast Nomad in one pack. You could get this with another, but this is kind of the big the bigger one. None of them came with the game, so you actually had to buy it separate. So it was really weird how they did it. But we're going to be opening up the remote controlled ND1. So, take a look at the art first. And it's pretty heavy, so I'm hopeful that we have pretty sweet piece of technology here. Now, Mass Effect is one of my long time obsessions. I've always been in love with the series. and As you can tell from all the stuff around here, I tend to frequent their store. They have pretty good stuff, so I'm hoping that this is going to fall in line with everything else. Alrighty. So, looks like we've got a box within a box, as always. <laughs> well, at least it was a fun sound. So mature. <laughs> oh, geez. It looks like it got Palpina's attention to us. What yeah, the right. hell was that? Alright, so we got our box here. And this actually has a boxito. So it's a box in a box in a box. It it's it's half of a box wrapping another box within a box. So we're just gonna do its little boxito stripper show here. All right, I think we're at the actual box now. <laughs> the actual box. I think. Usually, when they have these diagonal cuts like this, that's their their final box. Hmm. Let's go ahead and put that. So this is the mid box. Yes, we got exterior, mid, and now the final box. Unless, nope. Ooh. That's fancy. Look at these little velvety Bible like things that hold it open. Alright, so it looks like the ND one's pretty bulky. It's got an onboard camera. It's supposed to be able to take video and pictures. It's got working lights. All these will come on once we get it turned on which we'll have to figure out. Well, let's hope it doesn't need batteries. Is that? No. This is a USB charger. Oh, okay. Just like the one you use for your phone. It's like this one? Oh, it is. Yeah. It has its own memory foam? No, it's just foam. Yep, just your standard USB micro. Uh, your PS4 controllers with that. Yep. Okay, underneath the foam. Oh. Let's just put that in the axis. Lay it there out there, buddy. He's like, that stinks. Alright, so this is going to be our steel case. The Pathfinder steel case. So if you want the steel case, this is the other thing that comes with the collector's edition. I can't really call it a not edition, but addition, because you're just mm. buying it extra. You could buy this and not get the game at all if you just want this stuff. It is sold out on the store, and I am going to tell you, even at the store, this was a little bit on the pricey end. The car, I'd honestly just, I, I really hope it's it's worth it. <laughs> so we've got instructions. We'll go over those in a minute. 
won't go through all that boring stuff. We'll we'll pause and get it up and running, and then we'll go over the app and what it do. There's, it looks like there's a tool there. Yeah, what is that? Oh uh, yeah, there's a little tool. It's probably just to get the battery. Uh, right now it says antenna. Oh. All right. We'll show you guys where that ends up going. All right. I'm gonna pause till we get it started. Looks like the front here is gonna turn. You got servos for turning on the front and the back. Got shocks here. So to get it turned on, there's this little latch right here. Pull it aside, open up. This is where your charger port is for your cable and also the on switch. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. All right, got the app up here. There's terms it's gonna want you to accept. Then it comes up with your connection help. It says turn on your Nomad. When top and bottom lights stop blinking, the vehicle is ready for pairing. Looks like it just stopped. Go to your mobile device's Wi-Fi settings. Just go into the Wi-Fi settings. All right. So here it's gonna show the Nomad ND1. You're gonna click on that and connect. Would be really cool if this thing had its own Wi-Fi somehow. <laughs> we all know that ain't gonna be the case. Yeah. And the app just shut itself down. All right, Wi-Fi connection to on. Once connected, launch the Nomad ND1 app. Tap connect on the top left side. Showing connecting. Time to figure out how to use it. Okay, so this is turning. <laughs> and this is moving, apparently. So it's just like two analog sticks. It's actually kind of sweet. And we've got some attention <laughs> because Axel's like, what the hell is this? <laughs> What's it? What is that, buddy? <laughs> Doing a little dance for you. It likes you. Hopefully we don't spook him too much. <laughs> <laughs> the app actually. Makes sense. <laughs> 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 Can I get you, buddy? <laughs> the app is actually quite noisy. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me turn the volume off for you. Let me try the camera out. Oh man, even Milo's getting into it. That's pretty cool. We can see the kitties. <laughs> uh oh, everybody's gonna go. Currently, it's showing no one's in front, but I see Palbino's nose over there. Look at everybody. The camera is actually pretty decent quality. You can oh, see yeah. Stubby st scooting up to it. Mm -hmm. Like, what is this thing? <laughs> I wish I could slow it down, though. I don't want to accidentally. Hey, Axel. Axel, you don't want your paws there. Maybe if I just turn it. So... There we go. All right, guys, get out of the way. <laughs> stubby <laughs> is clearly. Not caring, he's in the way. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, uh, yep, I don't care. All right, maybe if we back. Oh, it's coming, guys. Oh, Milo, it's okay. Oh. Milo. Oh, let's not wrestle, guys. Well, it's okay. Right, so. Bird. Hey. <laughs> so bad. Oh. Oh, 
little bit difficult to control, but not too bad. A little bit of practice. Aww. Aww, but we're spoken everyone, so. But the app is actually pretty cool. Like I oh, said, you got the two sticks here. If you turn with the right, you can move around left and pretty much just like you controlled the character in the game, honestly. It's pretty sweet. You got <laughs> this is the sound for the app. The app's really noisy, so I've I kind of turned that off already. Uh, <laughs> the eye here controls your camera, turns it off or on, and then you can take pictures. And then your video right here. And it looks like here, I'm not sure what this option is. Ooh! <laughs> it pushed it a little bit of a jump there. No harm done, though. <laughs> she like danced away from it on her back feet. Axel seems like he, he wants to show it who's boss. Hmm. Like, what is this doing in my room? <laughs> All the babies don't seem bothered, but Milo is so mad. Yeah, the babies, they, you know, they're youngins, so they're fine with the technology. They're really weirded out by it, but. Axel's just not going to move. He's in the way no matter what. <laughs> poke, poke. poke it, poke it. Poke. Let's see if I can get it over here. Any baby. Milo's an old guy. He doesn't. He doesn't like it. Well, alrighty. That should cover it for the RC car, the ND1. It's actually a lot more interesting than I expected it would be. The camera is quite high quality. Um, take pictures with it. You can um, take video with it. Whatever you like. So it's a little spy cam on a bunch of wheels. Uh, controls are a little bit touchy, but I mean the touch screen you can probably adjust it and outside of that you get oh, scoot on over here mm. we'll just go back over everything all right so now that our, our wheels have enough cat hair on them to add to this whole production you're gonna get the box, the box within the box, the other box within the box, the steel case. The antenna. Huh. Yes, oops, the antenna. Which doesn't sit in there. Like I said, throw some glue in there, you'll be all right. And that is it. Oh, the charger as well. Come, you'll yep. have to download the app separately when you do You'll be able to play with your car, and it's pretty fun. I mean, I'm still not completely convinced that it's worth the price, but that'll be for you to decide if you decide to go ahead and try and grab one of these. It's fun to play with, so. But it doesn't come with the game. Just remember that you're not going to get that with it. That's separate, so. Hope this was helpful to you guys. If you liked the video, let us know. Um, leave any comments down in the comments section, and if you have any requests for anything we can open up and give a little review, just let us know. We appreciate it, guys. This is Kitty Bit Games. Yeah.